Good morning, Capricorn, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of June the 23rd to the 29th, 2024. I've already cut your decks and I've shuffled them all 10 times each, utilizing the numerology of the date June the 23rd, 2024. So let's dive right in. All right, Knight of Wands, a lot of fire energy for all of the earth signs this week. The Knight of Wands is full of impetuous energy. He is the builder of the tarot, okay? You see these pyramids here? He built them. He's a lot of drive. He's a lot of energy. He's a lot of passion for whatever he is pursuing, okay? But make sure, uh, so take it as how it resonates. So some people, so with me, I have my sun, my Mars, and my Mercury in Aries, I have something that I'm constantly working on is finishing things that I start, okay? So uh, if you put a lot of energy into something and you put a lot of time into something, it makes sense to me to finish it or else it is a waste of time, okay? Um, now I've heard someone else say something about, um, you know, who says you need to finish things because you, you, you yourself, you, you could have gotten what you needed out of that, whatever it is that you were doing, reading a book, trying to learn piano, something, whatever. Um, and then, you know, if you stop, like who's to say that you need to finish things, maybe you already got what you needed out of it. So I don't really agree with that one. I agree with kind of being mindful and purposeful is into what you put your energy into and what you're starting. So like you're ritualizing it and like you're putting intention into it and you're being very mindful and you're putting some thought into whatever it is that you are doing, right? Because like if you're put, if you're scrolling on the internet all day, um, you know, like what are you getting out of it? So that's kind of like being mindful where you put your time and how you use your time and what you're starting and where you're putting your energy in, okay? Because uh, time is precious and so you want to make sure you're utilizing it appropriately. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean to say that you should be constantly on the go all the time or there has to be, like you can have downtime and you can, because that is, but you're being purposeful about it. You're being intentional about it, okay? I got a little bit off there, but I think that was important to say. So he is the builder of the tarot. He uh, has a lot of energy. And so like I mentioned, there's a lot of in and out energy. So just be mindful of where you're putting your energy that you're in that if you want to be utilizing your time wisely, make sure that you're finishing what you start because I feel that you're being very creative right now, Capricorn, okay? And so if you're building something, if you're building like an entrepreneurship, if you're building your own business or you're just uh, upgrading in your career uh, or you want to look at um, building different domains or different aspects of your, like maybe diversifying where you're putting your energy and maybe your money or um, your time, you're being encouraged to take a calculated risk here, okay? These are salamanders, salamanders in the tarot, especially for the court cards in the fire, in the wands. Um, they So the, the page, the knight, and the king all have salamanders on the card, and that indicates that they are protected from fire. They are protected from risk. Now, this risk is calculated, okay? Um, so you want to make sure that you're doing your research and dotting your I's and crossing your T's uh, with respects to something that you are trying to pursue if it's outside of your expertise. Okay. But that being said, you are being encouraged to pursue things that are perhaps outside of your expertise, outside of your domain, uh, because you're going to be lucky. You're, you, you know, you're being encouraged to take this risk. Um, just make sure that you're, you're doing your due diligence when you, when you dive in. Okay. So then we have the temperance card, but yeah, because you're, you're able you're able to turn water into wine. You're able to alchemize things right now, Capricorn. This is very nice. And this is another fire element here. This is Sagittarius. Okay, and like I mentioned before, doing your research, uh, Sagittarius is the sign, the, the astrological zodiac sign of philosophy, of higher education, of, of seeking out information, of research and stuff like that. So doing your research, doing uh, your 
your due diligence with respect to some sort of new endeavor, perhaps that you're taking a calculated risk for. And doing so, you're able to turn like lack into abundance. You're able to turn water into wine, rocks into gold. Uh, you're able to turn your situation around. So, you know, utilize this energy that you are having right now this week um, with respects to building something of your own. And uh, you're, you're really powerful right now in order to alchemize your situation. So that being said, if you don't utilize this energy correctly, you can alchemize uh, something good into something bad too if you're not doing your due diligence and you're not doing the research you need to do and taking the time to do things properly, okay? Um, so, and then I, I'm, I'm kind of getting as well here that like, uh, because there's in and out energy here with the Knight of Wands, uh, you could be, um, I'm getting a lot of stuff here actually. So, um, you know, if you, if you're bouncing around to different projects that and you're not putting the, the amount of attention that you need into certain things for them to be successful, you can turn something good like this energy and this dry that you have into something bad because the energy that you're putting is too scattered. Okay, you're starting one thing, then you're like a book. I'm gonna say books, but I'm like it's more about projects or something that you're working on. Like you start something, then you you do it for a little bit, and then you like you, it's like you have OCD or something. You know, you move on to something else, and then you get bored, and then you move on to something else. So, if you need to get help with something too to help you with this to stay on track, ask people, delegate things to people. Um, but you know, there's something that you're really able to build of quality and it's going to be lasting and it's going to be very fruitful for you um but just make sure that you're using your this energy wisely because like you can turn something bad or negative into something good or positive this can also go the other way around too just depending on how you're using this energy okay so you have to kind of rein it rein it in like this horse you gotta rein in this energy okay Okay, and then, so the other thing I was getting because of this is night, this could be someone coming in for some of you guys, this is Capricorns, uh, so some sort of Sagittarius might be coming in for you, but be mindful because there is in and out energy, it can be like fuckboy, uh, like, uh, like not serious people about like having a relationship okay like, like in and out kind of thing so it could be a man it could be a woman whatever um so if you don't want a serious relationship then just put it like that's okay like as long as you guys are both on the same page here but just be mindful that uh not, and i'm not to say that every sagittarius that is coming into your life right now will be like this just be mindful this be have it in the back of your head that this could be the case okay so if you do want a relationship, maybe communicate about that. And if they're not on the same page, at least you know, okay? Uh, because not, you know, like not, not, no judgment, right? Like people are allowed to do whatever they want as long as everyone's on the same page, right? Okay. So then we have the two of swords as well. So when, with, with the rest of this reading here, what I'm getting is that you need to uh, be pursuing something new here. So a lot of energy in building something uh, new because she's been sitting here where she's always been. She's sitting on this slab, this concrete slab, and her butt's starting to hurt because she's not moved forever. And, uh, you know, she's, she's not moved because she's been hurt or she's been disappointed. She's blocking her heart with these swords. She's guarding herself. Um, so this could be love, but this also could be like past disappointments with respects to projects. Maybe they didn't work out or different work environments is going to look differently for each and every one of you because this is a general reading. So take it how it resonates. So it could be love. It could be a job opportunity. It could be projects that you've tried to, to launch in the past that haven't worked out. And maybe you're like second guessing yourself, whether you have it within you to do this. Okay. But so, but you need to start looking at the new, there's a new island in the back here and you need to, uh, like this is something new that you are like alchemizing, you, like you're, 
So do your research, do, but the, you're building something new. Maybe this is a brand new thing that has never like crossed your mind. This is like, it's sparking your interest, but you, you're like, I don't know. I don't know much about it. I don't know. Like, so learn, learn. Sagittarius is about learning and higher education. Maybe take a course, maybe do some research online. Like there's a lot of information out there in the world right now on YouTube. You can, you know, on the, on the internet, we're in the age of information. So take it to your, like take it how it resonates. Maybe you wanna like take a course, go to college, um, do something, um, maybe seek out a mentor. But like whatever is sparking your interest right now, whatever this passion is for that you have to build and like, you're being pulled to, to, to create something, uh, definitely go to, like take that risk and go to the new island and move, you need to move. You're feeling stuck or something. You need to take that risk and you need to go to that new island. Take that new adventure, okay? Okay, so with the Knight of Wands, we have the High Priestess. So we have another two cards. So we like, this is the two, and then we have two here. So a little bit of a balance. Uh, we're balancing things out, okay? We also have, like we're alchemizing, the, like this is like two as well. I know this is not the two card, but like, you know, we're, we're changing one thing to another. And so, you have it within you. Like, um, I think that maybe you might even be accessing some extrasensory abilities right now. Maybe you're being put, like, like I said, you're being pulled, you're being pulled into something like you're like the, maybe like the universe or something is pulling, is driving these reins. You need to be your, so you need to follow where you're being led, where you're being pulled, where you're being, where your horse is driving you, right? That's the universe. Uh, your intuition might be really heightened right now. I think I said this in your last reading too. Uh, you might be experiencing um, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, telepathy. So like the universe is sending you signs and, and trying to communicate with you. Maybe it's even your higher self or your spirit guides. You're being, you're in tune with uh, something right now and you're being asked to listen to the guidance. Listen, listen to where you're being steered. Okay, because that's you and the, like you're being steered into a certain direction and you need to follow, like you need to trust your intuition and go wherever your your um, inspiration is guiding you because it's going to prove to be very successful. It's going to mo make you go to that new island because <clears throat> she's also in Solomon's chamber here and the chamber she is in has no ceiling in it. And so this is a signification of unlimited potential for you. So taking that risk, listening to your intuition and listening to your guidance, like seeing synchronicities and, and paying attention to the signs, symbols, nudges, knowings, inklings that the universe is trying to give to you, following those leads and taking that risk, getting to that new island, going pursuing that new project, learning about different things. So she's all about, she's also about like, seeking out knowledge through the occult right so occult just means secret and hidden knowledge so maybe you are pursuing things maybe you're tapping into this side of yourself and utilizing this on your journey to this new island as well <clears throat> okay with temperance yeah i would like so i was saying like maybe you you, you know because this is with temperance, but I'm taking it with the whole reading now too. And um, Taurus got these two together too, but they they were like the, from the different decks. So <clears throat> this is the Eight of Swords. On the normal Eight of Swords on the right away deck, there's a blindfolded woman um, who is in, she's engulfed in a cage of swords, but they're really like far apart swords and they're just they they're, they form a semicircle around her so she's not actually encaged and she's tethered up she's tied up very loosely and has a blindfold on <clears throat> so and this signifies that uh any sort of restrictions or or resistance that you're feeling right now is self-imposed so if you're feeling like this is outside of your comfort zone you're feeling that this new project is like you don't know much you don't know enough to excuse me pursue this 
this is just in your head okay this is a self-imposed restriction because she can it's she can easily get up off this chair and walk through those swords and escape okay on the normal rider weight deck she can lean up against the swords and untie herself or she can actually like just push through like the tethers because they are really loosely tied on her and then she can take off the blindfold so you don't want to be willfully ignorant you don't want to be willfully um imposing restrictions upon yourself because uh because of your thought processes okay you have it within you seek out information that you need you have the the high priestess and temperance here so you're seeking out information in the 3d realm you're seeking out knowledge and education and information in the 3d realm and you're also tapping into your psychic abilities your intuition and your and occult knowledge as well to untether you from any resistance or self-imposed restrictions that you might be feeling right now okay you <clears throat> You have it within you to to get this done. You can take this calculated risk. Um, so don't don't set don't second guess yourself, okay? And with the two of swords, we have the magician. So the magician and the high priestess. Like you, once you get out of your head, once you believe in yourself that you can do it, you're taking the the calculated risk. You're you're learning about whatever it is that you want to pursue that's giving you interest wherever you're being pulled to right now. You're learning about it in the 3D realm on this in, and it's seeking out information, maybe taking a course. Um, it could be even about how to develop your intuition more or it could be about uh, occult knowledge or witchcraft or something like that too. Uh, this, like whatever, this new project that you're doing. Okay, but it's, it's something new that you're being pulled into. So it doesn't necessarily need to be occult and magical, uh, this new project, but you, you're being encouraged to tap into that side of yourself too. So you're educating yourself with books, in a course, with mentors, with videos, um, with information that's available to you. And you're also seeking out occult knowledge, uh, maybe seeking out a spiritual mentor, taking a course in manifestation, um, or ritual magic, or just seeking reading books about all of this stuff too. And to, cause it's all going to come together and work out for you. If you can mm, integrate and alchemize all of the information that is available to you from all the different realms. Okay. But you're building something new and you're built, you're, you have the ability within you to create something really positive uh, you want to take that risk, um, but it has to be calculated. And so do your due diligence. Okay, Capricorn. Uh, we're going to end off here with a Suvi Wisdom Oracle card, and it's called Determination. Perseverance leads to fortune. I struggled and suffered, suffered for 40 years, never knowing the remedy I was looking for. I was in a bottle of vintage wine. That sweet success I was hoping to find in my fortune was hidden in the curls of my beloved's hair. When the going gets tough, call on your power of perseverance. No matter how hard it is or how long it takes, be steadfast in what you are doing. Hafiz is sharing how he was able to taste the pleasure of being in the arms of his beloved through persistence. He did so by doing everything with joy and determination. In this way, perseverance turns vinegar into vintage wine. Okay? You're turning vinegar into vintage wine. Dear one, listen to the oracle and give up wonderful and give up wondering how to find your place in life. Follow your calling like it is the North Star guiding you in every pursuit of life. As you faithfully pursue your desires, a way will open and you will be guided to other opportunities and blessings even beyond your dreams. So be open. There are many people who excel in the arts, athletics, music, speech. Some can achieve success in life, but too many of those gifted and able people do not endure and fail do not endure and fail to achieve their potential. In contrast, some less visible men and women work diligently, pursue further, and continue their course of action and become outstanding in their craft. Beloved, 
Now is the time for you to organize and use your time wisely. Wow. Pursue the opportunities that can bring blessings to you. If you want to enjoy the journey, be willing to use your leadership skills as well as the skills and experiences of other people who can help you along the way. Remember delegating and asking for help? The mantra for you for this week is, I am determined to persevere and live my life filled with trust, patience, and determination, and tender affection. So be it. All right, that was a good one. If this reading resonated for you, my dear Capricorn, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. That is something that you'd like to do. You can also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I'm truly grateful for all of the energy that you brought me here today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.